A softball pitcher has a 0.431 probability of throwing a strike on each pitch. So they're going to throw 22 pitches. What's the probability that exactly 12 of them are strikes? So when you throw a pitch, we call it a Bernoulli trial, right? It has either it's got two options. It's either a, a strike or it's not a strike. You know, it could be a ball, it could hit the person, it could be a you know, I don't know what else. <laughs> I guess that's it. Um, but it's either, but in terms of whether it's a strike or not, those are two options. It's either a strike or it's not a strike. Okay. So if that happens, and if you're doing multiple trials, meaning you're not stopping after just one pitch, if you're do, going again and again, and you're supposed to calculate a probability regarding the number of successes, then it's a it's a binomial distribution problem. So if you have multiple Bernoulli trials, it's a binomial. Basically, if it's if it's a yes or no question, and you've done and you're doing multiple, you have a chance for multiple yeses, then it's a binomial distribution. So the formula is n factorial which means the number of total trials, the number of Bernoulli trials, so there's 22 in this one, and then it's x factorial, the number of successes factorial, so the number of strikes, and then it's n minus x factorial, and then it's p to the x power, where p is the probability of success, and x is the number of successes, and then the text would sometimes write q, uh, but I prefer to have less letters if possible, so 1 minus p is the same thing. Okay, so if you see a Q in uh, the Bernoulli, not Bernoulli, in the binomial distribution formula, it's the same thing as 1 minus P. Okay, And then N is the number of pitches, X is the number of successes. So we just have to plug everything in. Number of successes is 12, and it's 22 minus 12 factorial. And then we multiply that by the probability of, of a successful pitch. Raise that to the power of 12 because there's 12 successful pitches. That's 1 minus 0 0.431 being raised to, um, it's 22 minus 12, so that's 10. Okay. So uh, I'll show you a website you can use because uh, you could do this with a regular hand calculator. It just take a long time. Um, on the left side of your screen, is a website called desmos.com slash scientific. Let me expand that. So desmos.com slash scientific, a free scientific calculator. I think we could get away with plugging this entire thing in and it would be able to do it for us. Let's try. And I use here, look, just, uh, that's, a, that's a problem for students sometimes. Use the right arrow to get out of the denominator. So we had 0 0.431 then probability of success, the 12th power, and then right arrow to get out of the exponent. It looks like a probability of 0 0.0945. So that's the probability, it uh, depends how many decimals. They want two decimals, so I'd say 0 0.09. Um, that's the probability of throwing 22 pitches and getting 12 strikes. <laughs>